If this is the future, why is Apple trying to sell us the past? All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's man Jay. So today, this is kind of like a part two discussion from the iPhone uh, about the iPhone SE 2. So disclaimer, I wanted to tell you guys that I'm not making this video to try to get people to not buy the newer, the latest iPhone that just came out. I'm just making this discussion video just to try to help keep you aware from what where I sit. This is what I gather from from Apple's approach. So um, I'm not going to tell you that you shouldn't buy the iPhone. From where I sit, I think that Apple themselves is almost telling you that we're playing games with you. But we want to see if you can buy it. Um, and, and I say that for this reason. Some for for some reason or another, the media is really hyping up this, and not this time, not just the media. There's a bunch of people out there that are almost trying to convince people that the iPhone SE second generation is a good buy, you know, over some other phones. So we'll just focus on the iPhones. Um, here's my iPhone 11, right? And obviously, you know, I had the I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and then also the iPhone 8 and the iPhone SE, the original iPhone SE. So, this second generation version of the iPhone SE, I, here's what I think is you should probably just think this through. First of all, Apple told us that this was their future when they brought out the iPhone 10. They, they weren't looking back. They said that this is the future, meaning this design of the phones. And they stuck true to that up until 2019. So for all those people that, that say, well, Jay, you don't understand who this is for. I do understand who it's for. Uh, I'm just telling you my opinion. And I respect yours. I, you know, this phone right here, the iPhone SE second generation, if you have an iPhone 8 or above, I don't even think you should be looking at this. Possibly an iPhone 7. Um, anything below that, like a 6S on down, possibly consider picking up the iPhone SE second generation if in fact you need to. If you don't need to, folks, you're not missing out on much. So if you had your iPhone 7 or 6S and it's working, I would advise you just keep it. Apple is selling you on the principle that their new iPhone SE, which is just the body of the iPhone 8 with the internals of this phone, for $400. And I'll get to that in a minute. They're selling you on the premise that this is going to be faster. You get 4K. You get all these new things like Wi-Fi 6. and It's got the power of the iPhone 11 Pro, but it's in the form factor of blah, blah, blah. This is all on their website. Uh, I don't have to make this up. They're selling you on this performance thing. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to perform better. You get a more powerful phone. When in reality, iPhones don't need to be very powerful for them to perform well. Let's just be clear. The, or they wouldn't still be selling the other previous generations and carriers wouldn't be selling generations from two, three years ago. They just work very well for the way Apple put them together. I'm giving them props. This new iPhone SE second generation... I think it's just another way to, and it's weird that I hear people and I see people in the comments too saying, ah oh, man, they give you this powerful phone and this small body and blah, 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 and you complain about that. Folks, wake up. Uh, I don't know how to say that. Wake up. And again, I'm not trying to deter you to not buy the phone. I'm telling you directly from where I sit and all the experience I have with Apple, this isn't the smartest purchase. It's just not. They told us this was the budget phone. This phone starts at what, 700 bucks? Well, they said that about the 10R too though, you know? And all they're doing now is they've gotten you used to thinking that 700 is cheap because it's Apple. That's the Apple tax people say. Let's, we should really rid ourselves of thinking like that because we're basically falling for the marketing hype. And I think that's sad. I make this video not to deter you once again, just to keep you on your toes so you'll make a smart choice with your money. 
If you think $400 is a drop in the bucket, even if you're financing it, it doesn't matter. You're still paying 400 bucks in the end plus taxes. I would just suggest that you think about how you're spending your money on cell phones, especially if a person is trying to save money. Here's where people who are trying to save money and get an iPhone really get an opportunity to, to, to do well for themselves because you can definitely find the iPhone 7, 8, 6S, all of those at a, a, a lower cost, especially the 6S and the 7. You can get those on carriers for like 29, between 29 and, and, and 99 dollars. So uh, you can find recertified ones, refurbished, you can find just those phones anywhere. So if you're really trying to get a budget iPhone from Apple, though, that's the direction you should be looking in. Uh, but Apple's trying to sell you one. It's got the A13 chip. How do I say this? Apple's trying to take advantage of you with, with that, that marketing strategy. That's what they're doing. And I'm not picking on Apple. I'm, I'm just telling you my experience with Apple and my opinion about Apple with this so-called new iPhone. They're selling, they have a bunch of old parts they're going to put the A13 processor in there and then they're going to resell it to you as the new iPhone. People who get offended by that, you really need to reevaluate your way of thinking when it comes to how you're viewing marketing and how you believe certain things. And again, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just giving you my opinion. That, that's all I'm doing. So people who are defending the iPhone SE, because I may not be on social media like I used to, but I definitely can read and I see the media really hyping this phone up saying Apple gave you everything you wanted and now you're complaining. It's funny how everybody ragged on this resolution, but now it's okay for the new iPhone because it's $400. Mm, I don't think so. I, where I, from where I sit right now, I would not recommend that you buy the iPhone SE second generation over the iPhone 11 or the iPhone 10R, or a recertified iPhone 10. If you want a compact iPhone, you've got the 8, you've got the 7, you've got the 10, and you even kind of have these, the 10R and the 11. These aren't very big phones, but they're bigger than the iPhone 8 and the new SE, which are the same phones. I'm surprised how because it's kind of like every time a new phone comes out, some of us look like the haters and villains and we're just trying to go against the grain. Well, I'm fine with that. I, I'm perfectly fine if you think I'm hating on the situation and over here by myself. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. I also don't buy into this thing about Apple came to take over the budget market. Folks, listen, a budget smartphone is along the Xiaomi lines. Those are budget smartphones. You can't just keep separating Apple because of iOS. The fact of the matter is not everybody likes iOS. Some people think iOS is trash. Okay, so iOS may get all these updates for five years or whatever, but that doesn't mean people like it. People who harp on updates, you have no weight. You're not holding any value in your, in your argument if you're trying to make that your argument. And people who harp on, it's gonna sell a whole bunch of them. You, those, those have no weight. If you're really trying to get a person into a budget phone, whether it's iOS or Android, you're going to be looking at price. $400 is not a budget phone. Just like $700 wasn't. Come on. Let's, let's be realistic about this. If you're defending the iPhone, I had a guy comment on the video, right? And um, no shade to this guy. I'm actually going to shout him out. I, I forget his name, but he'll know who it is if he watches this video. He, shot, he said, well, Jay, you know, this is my first iPhone or something along those lines. I'm 55 and this is my first iPhone. I want to give it a try. Congrats, brother. Try it out. I'm sure you'll love it. But to the people that keep saying, this would be good for a backup or a third phone, or this would be good for my grandmother. This is good for your daughter. No, it's not. If you guys don't have children or you don't know how, what to give a child. You don't give a child a $400 phone, no matter how much bread you got. All the bread we had over here, we didn't give them $400 phones, man, they got the lowest one and they earned their way as they got through and left college or whatever. You don't give a child a $400 phone, especially a fragile iPhone. When I think of something for my grandparents, if they, if they were still alive, God rest their soul, they're not. But 
if they were in this age, I wouldn't be trying to get them an iPhone or a phone that's that's 400 bucks. I would be thinking more lines of jitterbug, a flip phone, some with big numbers on it to make it easy for them to dial, something. And I would take that money if they wanted to do FaceTime and all that stuff or video chat, get them an iPad. For the people that's saying I can get a, I can get an iPhone SE, a, a, the watch, and some AirPods, and still have it be under eight nine hundred bucks. You can get if you want to get into this budget iPhone thing. You can get your parents, your grandparents, your children, the latest iPad, like that two hundred fifty dollar one or whatever. That thing performs great, and still get them an iPhone six S, an iPhone seven, or just any other budget phone. That's what I think some people probably should do. Well, Jay, I don't want to carry around an iPad. All right, man. Okay. I definitely would rather have an iPad, that lower cost iPad, and then an iPhone 6S or 7 than to have the iPhone SE. I would not, and if you want to just go on record and tell you, the first video I made, it wasn't, it's not throwing shade. It's, again, these videos are just to keep you aware, folks. They're trying to keep you on your toes a little bit. But I know I'm not crazy. And I know I'm not the only one that noticed all this hype around this phone. And I'm sitting up here thinking, why? Why would a person be so hyped about this iPhone? And with Jay, once again, Jay, it's got the A13 in it. You honestly can't sell a person on the internals. Um, you can try to, but you know they're gonna say, well, what about the cameras or how's the battery life? And from where I sit, I notice a lot of people, they like big phones now, like bigger screens. And why would you want to doubt that? Tons of people like big screens. Who would want to game? And, and again, look on Apple's website. Now, I'm not saying anything out of line towards Apple, but if I was, so what? But I'm just telling you what's on their website. They're selling this thing on performance. It's got the, uh, the iPhone 11 Pro crawl that wants this chipset back. What? That's how you're going to sell this phone to the public? By taking a shot at yourself or trying to make fun of yourself and get people to thinking that you're going to... They're ready to bring out another iPhone at the end of this year, folks. The, the mindset of Apple is to get you thinking something that's really affordable when it's really not. If people continue... And I'm not... Again, let me say it again. I'm not trying to tell you not to buy this phone. I'm just here to make you think. Just for a second. Rewind calm down, woosa, and just bring it in and just really absorb what they're doing with their marketing. You have to try to have some, you can't just want to hear all the things that you want to hear. You got to try to listen to the other side sometimes. It'll help you out, keep you balanced. Now, I will say, you spend your money how you want to spend your money. I'm just saying, you don't have to watch me. If you don't like what I'm saying, just stop clicking on the videos. I like to make discussion videos just to get a, a gauge of, to stay in reality. Whatever your reality is, that's fine. If you think $400, though, is a budget phone, so be it. A backup phone? <laughs> Come on. You know, all I can tell you is this. Those that have asked me, I'm telling you now, and I'm doing it on video, I don't recommend that you buy the iPhone SE over the iPhone 11 or the 10R, Or the iPhone, just get an iPhone 8. Or, or get an iPhone 7 or get an iPhone 6S if you want this same body, folks. If you don't, okay, well, no, no, no. Okay, we get an iPhone 8. You're not going to see this great performance that Apple is telling you you're going to see. I have all the iPhones here in my house, and the performance is exactly the same. I find it funny that I did click on some stuff that I shouldn't have clicked on when I was looking at some of the media, and these guys are full throttle, man. They are full throttle. They are praising this iPhone SE second generation like this is the best thing this shut down they shut oneplus down let me let me go on record again and tell you apple did not shut down oneplus 8 and i'm not even a just pro oneplus 8 person i'm just saying apple didn't come in and do anything spectacular with this phone it's all building around hype you know what i'm saying it has nothing to do with getting review units from it's me for the people that's all oh, jay it's not like you hate you didn't get a review and then i don't need no review i just buy all the iphones like i always do but i'm telling you if you're falling for this right here, son, if you fall, you you falling for the marketing hype that Apple is doing, and you just want, don't want to admit it. For the people that say this is my first iPhone, I don't recommend you buy it for your first iPhone, because you're spending more than you actually have to to experience a good experience with Apple. That's me giving some praise. 
I'm, I'm happy that the iPhones work great. You could actually go get a 7, a 6S, a 6. Any of those phones, you're getting the same thing. These icons, same applications. So, well, Jay, you won't have all the functionality. You won't have all the functionality with the iPhone SE too, remember? It doesn't have the facial recognition. It has the home button. I mean, how could a person not notice that Apple is just selling you the same, that you, they're selling you the iPhone 8 again. I would not tell a customer, it's got the 813 in it. <laughs> you need to grab that, son. You need, somebody else, you, need, you need to grab that, man. It's got the 813 in it. They're going to look like, what's the 813? And not just, not just the average consumer or regular folks who don't put cell phones at the top of their list. Techies. Let me say it to you, too, so you can understand. If you think you're a techie, if you consider yourself a techie because you got a bunch of phones, honestly ask yourself, why are you buying the iPhone SE? Especially if you're a YouTube creator. I'll tell you why you're buying it. For views. And it, it, don't be offended by that. Because in the end, that was the only reason I was buying it. Really? I got all the iPhones. Why would I buy the iPhone SE? To tell people that it performs the same as my current iPhone? Because that's what's going to happen, son. So I'm not buying. I was like, let me pull out of this. What am I doing? So why am I buying this? I don't need to buy this phone and waste four hundred dollars just to tell people it performs the same as the one I currently have. Come on, Apple, bring us something different. I said this about Apple before. They're afraid of change. They don't compete in the hardware category at all. And I said that in another video before I even knew about this iPhone thing. They don't compete with hardware. Their main focus that they try to get people on is software. So it's kind of funny now, all of a sudden, they're saying the iPhone 11 Pro call, it wants its chipset back. But I can get the same performance out of the 7, 8, 6, possibly the current SE. But according to Apple, it's faster. It's better. It's got better cameras, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It's your man, Jay. Hope you guys enjoy a quick, brief discussion, part two for this iPhone conversation. Jay, you don't know who it's for. Yeah, I do know who it's for. Uh, Jay, uh, you don't understand. Yeah, I do understand. I respect your opinion too, first and foremost. And before I get out of here, I really genuinely respect your opinion. Opinions aren't wrong or right. It's just that person's opinion. So if you feel like I'm wrong, well, you'll get over it. <laughs> you'll get over it. All the people out there that want to promote this phone and tell people it's great, and it's the best thing since sliced bread from Apple, and it's just going to shut down the industry for budgets. Huawei, Xiaomi, LG, Motorola. All these other companies have phones that cost a lot less and on paper technically offer more. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Well, you argue that yourself in the comments. I don't know what else to tell you. Apple's marketing, I've always said it was great. And this is just another plot employed to get people to spend money on them on the same phone that they brought out a couple of years ago. I'm keeping my iPhone 11 and my 11 Pro Max and my iPhone SE and my iPhone 8. All those actually do the same thing. I'll see you in the next one. It was fun, wasn't it? I told you. I told you it would be fun. It was fun. It's a fun discussion, right? Right?